Mina san, konnichiwa, Don des. Hello, everyone. This is Don. Spring term is over. We had our closing ceremony with many memorable, heartfelt speeches. For example, my colleague Bethany, you convinced me that I need to see the Barbie movie. And Hina and Rika, our student speakers, your speeches were lovely. And I hope your future is as bright as your speeches and as you were at Boston. We wish you the very best. So now I can finally do my 4th of July video. At least it's still July. Recently, I met a warm and kind retired school teacher at my students' volunteer site, a senior living facility. I asked her, what did you teach? She said, the American Revolution to 11th graders. In Japanese, Saikin watashi wa seito tachi no volunteer katsudo saki de aru yogo shisetsu de Shinsetsu na moto sensei ni aimashita. Watashi ga kanajo ni nani o oshiete ita ka tazuneru to juichi nensei ni America dokuritsu senso ni tsuite oshiete ita to imashita. Likewise, one of the first classes I taught as a Boston based ESL teacher was specifically about the history and culture of New England, especially the American Revolution. Nihongo de Onaji yo ni Boston ni sunde iru ESL no kyoshi toshite. Watashi ga saisho ni oshieta klasu no shitotsu ga New England no rekishi do bunka. Toku ni America dokuritsu sinso ni tsuite deshita. Hence, as a Boston based ESL teacher and spoken word artist, I should do a tribute to Independence Day, although a belated one. Nihongo de Na no de Boston ni sunde iru ESL no kyoshi toshite tatoe osoku nate mo Dokuritsu kininbi ni tsuite no video o tsukuru beki de aru to kangaemashita With my new colleagues and students, we walked the Freedom Trail and visited important historical places like Old North Church, Faneuil Hall, and Old North Bridge in Concord, where men and women decided to stand up and fight for their freedom from England. As a Boston-based ESL teacher, this book was a good purchase. Here is Faneuil Hall, where the Sons of Liberty frequently met. This is Old North Church, the oldest surviving religious structure in Boston. And these pages are about Paul Revere. Now I'd like to read a quote from my students' final project. They wrote, For many years, American colonies were ruled by British leaders. They had to do what the British leaders told them to do, so they could not make their own laws. That is true. So the local people had many meetings to decide what to do. Faneuil Hall, as I showed you. 
and no one has told the story of bravery more dramatically than a famous American poet and abolitionist, Dore Seidoni Hantaista Shijin, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, also a professor of languages at Harvard University. So I will read part of his poem, Paul Revere's Ride, with my own dramatic flair. Please enjoy Goran Kudasai. Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere. He said to his friend, if the British march by land or sea from town tonight, hang a lantern aloft in the belfry arch of the North Church Tower as a signal light, one if by land and two if by sea, and I on the opposite shore shall be ready to ride and spread the alarm. Wake up, wake up, the British are coming, the British are coming. Children, you know the rest in the books you have read, how the British regulars fired and fled, how the farmers gave them ball for ball from behind each fence and farmyard wall, then crossing the fields and emerging again. So through the night rode Paul Revere, and so through the night went his cry of alarm, a cry of defiance and not a fear, a voice in the darkness, a knock at the door, and a word that shall echo forevermore. Wake up, wake up, the British are coming, the British are coming. For born in the night wind of the past, through all our history and to the last, in the hour of darkness and peril and need, the people will waken and listen to hear the midnight message of Paul Revere. Wake up, wake up, the British are coming, the British are coming. Kokolde, Boston no shitobi doa, jibun tachi ga, kangaete ita yorimo, yu kande aru, koto ni kigatsuki mashita. They declared their independence from England, fought the Revolutionary War, and wrote a constitution. With checks and balances, so no one king could rise up and take control of everything and everyone. Our founding fathers, in their wisdom, established a democracy for us. In fact, this was a miracle because the soldiers didn't have enough clothing, food, or medicine. Nihongo de Jitsu wa Shokuminchi no Heishi Tachi wa Jibuna Fuku Ya Shoku yo Kusuri O Mot Mote in a kata no de Kono shori wa kiseki deshta. Of course, these nations are friends and allies now, but this is why we celebrate Independence Day on the 4th of July. I would especially like to thank my friend and conversation partner Mutsumi for helping me with this speech again. Um, and also the quote from my students that was pre-pandemic when I first did the speech. 
I would also like to thank the former um, coordinator of New England Studies who helped me when I taught this class, Joe, and also my fellow colleague uh, chaperones at the time, Susan W. and Chris K. Thank you so much for helping me. I learned so much from you. Thank you. Now, about seven years later, I have a secret to tell. The night before we took our students to Wellesley College, I went there by myself to tour the campus and see firsthand what I had read and what I had learned. It was a wonderful evening excursion. And I did that so I wouldn't look like an idiot with my colleagues and my students the next morning. The day of the trip, we had a wonderful day. We met a student and learned a lot from her. We went to the art museum, ate lunch in the cafeteria that was delicious, and took pictures by the lake on a perfectly sunny day. I will always remember that. I have learned that the president of Wellesley College is a cardiologist and former Harvard professor. I think that she took the road less traveled by with all its sacrifices and ups and downs and in the process, she discovered she was braver than she thought. Since I teach Japanese female students, female college students, I think it would be an inspiration to close with some of Dr. Johnson's bio from the website of Wellesley College. Before coming to Wellesley, President Johnson founded and served as, as the inaugural executive director of the Connor Center for Women's Health and Gender Biology, as well as chief of the Division of Women's Health at Brigham Women's Hospital, a Harvard teaching hospital and one of the world's leading academic medical centers. Her TED Talk in 2013, His and Hers and Healthcare, has had more than 1 million views. It was recently named by TED as one of the top 10 TED Talks by women that everyone should watch and has helped raise awareness of the importance of sex differences to understanding women's health. Most recently, Diverse Issues in Higher Education honored her as one of the top 25 women in higher education and beyond. Her vision, research, and ability to lead at the intersection of education, healthcare, and public health have earned President Johnson key leadership roles in the local and national arenas including the chair of the board of the Boston Public Health Commission, member of the National Institute of Health Advisory Committee on Research on Women's Health, and membership in numerous national and international boards, and it goes on. I watched her TED Talks, TED Talk about gender uh, differences in disease and um, diagnosis. It's amazing and insightful. I highly recommend it. So with that, everybody, that's the end of my tribute to the 4th of July. And just remember, you are braver than you think. Take care, everybody.